Leslie thinks the neighbors are dead. <laughs> Go ahead, tell us why you think the neighbors are dead. Today we are going to explore Texarkana, Texas slash Arkansas. Because it's right on the border. But it doesn't, am I not correct when it touches Louisiana too? Well, there's like a four corners That's here. how it got the, the four states. Tex is from Texas, the R is Arkansas, and the Anna is Louisiana. Oh, I didn't even put that together. Good call though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think the city actually has Louisiana in it. No, but I think but it's close. How, how it got its name is because it's close by. Arkansas touches all all those. Yeah. So we're going into town. We're going to go downtown. There's some historic crap to see. I don't <laughs> even know if it's crap. <laughs> I, I don't even know if it's that interesting or not. No. There's not a whole lot in Texarkana, but what they do have is a lot of parks and a lot of historic buildings. Yeah. So we're going to go see some of that crap yeah. today. <laughs> Well, I'm pumped. I don't know about you. Let's get this thing going. <laughs> Jeez. But it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Uh, I hope. You're, you're making it sound like it might not, though. God. You want to reshoot? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we keep it real. All right. There we go. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. This crap might suck. This, these historic buildings might not live up to your expectations. Oh, here's the part where I tell you to stick around through the whole video because it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Even if it's not. <laughs> I can't even today. I can't even. Here we go! <laughs> Got to fuel up. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's I immediately regret eating a peanut butter sandwich. I've been trying to vlog. Yeah. That's <laughs> <stupid>. <laughs> so that's the last bite I'll take while I have the camera going. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and Leslie's fueling up with a bagel because yeah. she eats like a bird. Oh, please. And we're kind of under the gun right now. That's why we're kind of choking down some quick food because it's 10 after 12 right now. Mm -hmm. And the first tour of the first house starts at 1 o'clock. Yeah. So we have less than an hour to eat, drive down there, and get checked in. I don't think it's far though. It could be packed. It's a high tourist destination. It's an old house. Everyone wants to see it. I'm gonna eat my bagel. I'm gonna eat my peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> I'm in Arkansas. I'm in Texas. Hey. <laughs> We're not even in the same state right now. <laughs> There's a state line right here. <laughs> yeah. I chose to be on the Arkansas side. I don't know why I chose to be on the Arkansas side. I guess I've just been so so much in Texas, Texas lately. I just I just feel like I need to be out of Texas. <laughs> it's very interesting how their courthouse and post office courthouse split right down the middle, man. Yeah, it, that's just odd. So instead of if you want to mail a letter from Arkansas to Texas, you just walk it from one office <laughs> to the other. <laughs> and then just walk if you're sitting there from Texas to Arkansas, you just walk it back that way. I want to know, if somebody were to commit a crime in this building, whose jurisdiction is it? Depends on which side of the thing they were on. Side of the they, building? Yeah. yeah they Unless can. they were chased from one to the other. <laughs> I really don't know how it works, honestly. It's interesting. I like it. Um, we were going to go see, well, actually, we did go see one of the old houses. Yes. That was a bust. Well, they don't allow filming or photography. Couldn't even take pictures there, man. So. But it still was a cool tour. Yeah. We had it all to ourselves. We were able to film a little bit outside, yeah. but nothing inside. So Very interesting house though. I mean, I'm glad we still got to tour it. Yeah, and we don't want to just sit and talk to you about it because that would be no fun. No. But it was great for us. Yeah, we had a good time. <laughs> but now we're struggling to find anything to do in Texarkana. But yeah, because a lot of these historical homes are going to be that way. So they're all they're all managed by the same historical, historical society. society. Yeah. So you're not going to be able to take pictures. You're not going to be able so to video. Create a problem. So worth coming to Texarkana. Worth going to see all see the stuff. All the stuff. We just but for us, we you. can't share it. <laughs> yeah. So bummer for us. But yeah. I don't know. We're going to kick around Texarkana. We're going to find something maybe, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Something. You don't look optimistic, I'll man. I'll try it. I'll try it. We, but I've been on the Google. I've been on... Trip advisor, I've been on everywhere and there's just really not that much to do. 
No, they have a ton of parks. Yeah. Parks and trails. That's really all they got going for them. I'm trying to like... Trying to be positive? Yeah. Which is totally unlikely. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's not true. You're the Debbie Downer usually about stuff. There's nothing to do. Oh, it's sorry. It's just, it's the stopping place in between destination. We'll find something. They can't all be winners. I know. <laughs> sorry, Texarkana. <laughs> Leslie thinks the neighbors are dead. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell us why you think the neighbors are dead. Well, I mean, come on. We all know from a video a long time ago. Was it last year or something? We were in Orlando. Yeah. And somebody died in the park that we were and, in. And we talked about that. That's my my hang up is when we're next to somebody for very long. How do you have PTSD from someone else dying? No. That's always been my concern. <laughs> my concern was before that, but that just validated my concerns. So anytime we're by somebody and there's no movement in or out, no sounds, nothing. I saw movement on the first day. Day one, yeah, that was four days ago. Yeah, I haven't seen any movement nothing, since. Nothing, no car movement, no doors opening, no sounds. There's a and faint it's been light. Nice out. It's been nice out. It's gorgeous the past couple of days. They haven't had like their door open with their screen door open. The shades don't come up. Uh, Same lights on every night? Same lights on, I mean, it's a dim light, like a, maybe like an overhead light over the table or something. So our question to you is, <laughs> What do you do if you think someone is dead? You know, and we had this issue in Kansas also. Yeah. We were right next to somebody who we thought may be dead. Yes. So Turns I'm thinking out, maybe we're a little gun shy. Well, maybe well, we're a little too quick to assume people died. Well, because their keys were still in their compartment door, so it kind of looked like, oh, crap. Yeah, you know? and with that situation, what happened was they were, they had friends that were local. And they were staying with them for a couple of days. Yeah, so the same situation Which, had the same light on. But he was thrilled that we were concerned. Yeah. Because he had left his whole lot of keys hanging off his RV. So. so we did get a chuckle out of that one. Yeah. So. so I know everybody says you should do a wellness check. Yeah. I just, I'm just so nervous about doing that and, and then like, mind your own business. All right. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna sneak around a little bit. Don't be snoopy. I'm just gonna look That's around. That's creepy. I'll pretend like I'm looking at our sewer stuff. <laughs> I'll I'll dump our gray tank. Creepy creeper. I'll be like, <laughs> I just gotta get a little. I gotta get a better sound. Maybe but I, mean, I can hear something. All the something. shades are down, so it's not like they can. See. Maybe I can hear somebody stepping, or or maybe like a little clearing of a throat, or a. <clears throat> Anything to show me that there's life over there. Okay. Maybe I'll smell something. Oh, stop. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> no. All right, I'm going to go outside. Ow. I'm going to investigate. Uh. Are you coming too? No, I got to make sure you don't look too creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll look more suspicious if both of us are out there. Oh, don't mind us. We're both dumping the gray tank together. <laughs> That's not suspicious at all. I'm just gonna videotape Leslie dumping the tanks. Nothing to see here. <coughs> Nothing to see. Air I'm gonna... conditioner is running. It's been running. And that's, that's a little weird too because it's not like warm, warm out right now. No. Oh, hang on. I need to check something by the truck. Just checking stuff by the truck here. Oh, what's that? Something curious over here. Huh. Yeah, they got... And they got like two sewer hoses and one is like out and one's in disarray. So the air conditioners are running and it's not super warm out right now. Nothing is, nothing's moved. This uh, flatbed hasn't moved. 
their vehicle hasn't moved no movement whatsoever all right we're gonna decide what we're gonna do here what are you gonna do me yeah <laughs> I did, I did, are, are we? I did an investigative walkabout okay. and came up with nothing. Figured this might. <laughs> <laughs> I checked the suspicious thing by the truck yeah. and then I checked the suspicious thing on the other side of the park. Okay. <laughs> All windows are closed off. Yes. I guess we should go to the office. Uh, I mean, I'd feel better if they just did like a courtesy call and be like, hey, we're just checking out, see how your stay's going, you know, kind of thing. That's what I would do if I worked there, so. How's that go again? <laughs> I love your customer service voice. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, hi. This is Leslie. We just came to check on you to see how your stay is here at the Sunrise RV Park in Texarkana. <laughs> I did not stop. <laughs> Well, we made it out to the park, Spring Lake Park in Texarkana, yes. on the Texas side. Don't worry, we didn't forget about the potentially dead guy. <laughs> we did check we did with go the, to office the office and inquired, and they're going to check on him. Apparently, he's been there for a while. Yeah. So, I mean, it was kind of good, actually, because she said she hadn't checked on him in a while. But apparently, he fell and injured himself at one point while he was here. Had to have surgery. And, and, and needed surgery. And he, she said he just had surgery like five, six days ago, which was a day or two before we got here. So it would make sense then if he's laid up resting. Yeah, maybe he fell inside the RV or something. I don't know. Maybe he can't get up. Or... So if, maybe he's, he's, if just... he's recouping from surgery, that's why he's not out and about in the... I would still open the windows. I would want to get sunshine. Yeah. That's just me. Uh, yeah. Anyway. To each their own. We're going to do some disc golfing. Stick around until after that. And we'll check back with the office. And we will update you and let you know. Yeah, she didn't say she'd let us know. The status yeah, of this guy. Yeah, make sure he guy. truly is okay. Yeah. <laughs> but first, we play. I never seen one on a pedestal like this. And of course, you nailed it. Boom. That's how you do it. That's how you play disc golf. <laughs> right there. Oh! This round of disc golf is brought to you by Waffle House. <laughs> well, we had a good time. Yes. Uh, we should go check on the dude, though. Should go, we'll go back to the, the park dude. and check on the dude. See if potentially dead dude is dead. Yeah. I don't think he is. He had surgery. Leslie's. He, uh, she can't even talk. Now. She's out of gas. I, well, I mean, I shot an 85. Yeah. But <clears throat> I get one off stroke for each. So you actually it, threw it so I 18 more times than that. Yeah, so I really threw 103 times. Like, I should be exhausted. That's a lot so. of times to throw a disc. 103 times. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I threw it 72 times. Legitly 72. Legitly 72 yeah. times. Yeah, so. But still, I'm wore out. <laughs> and I threw it 72. You threw it, threw it 31 more times than I did. So yeah, you should be out of gas. I am out of gas. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> All right, um, here we go. Back to the RV park, find out if this dude's dead. Hi. Hi. Ha! Did you get your lips on? Yeah. We can't shoot without the lips, without the lipstick on. 
I'm gonna smear lipstick all over your face when this is over. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> with kisses? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that. So here's your update. Okay. The guy's not dead. The guy's alive. Everything's yeah. cool. Um, wasn't a ton to do in Texarkana. No, there really isn't. But we still had fun. We, we always have it. fun no matter what, even if there's not much to do. But yeah. I'd say you could probably um, knock out Texarkana in about... A day. Yeah, I'd say a day. <laughs> it's a day trip. <laughs> it's a day trip. And then, so, yeah, there's really no reason other than stopping for convenience so you don't have to travel long yeah, days. If you're wanting a break in between. There's no really other great reason to stop in Texarkana. No. Although it was cool to take your picture out on the border. Yeah, that is pretty cool. That whole building yeah. between two states. That's that's unique. And some of the historical stuff was very interesting. Unfortunately, yeah. we just weren't able to share it. Yeah. Outside of that, yeah, there is some cool stuff to see, but you can't film it. So. And the weather's been great. So yeah, we had that going for us too. So. Yeah. Anyway, um, stick around for a few seconds, and uh, we're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help mm -hmm. vets, everything you need to know right down there in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye.